going on Sagittarius thank you so much for tuning in so I'm getting ready to do an energy update for you guys so don't forget you want to flip your roles take only what you need leave the rest and please use the spirit of discernment I encourage you not to force the message to fit if it doesn't resonate it's not for you if you're feeling confused in any way about one of the messages it's not for you okay it could be for the next person but however don't shoot the messenger I do love you guys I thank you so much for your support I know I don't do a lot of Sagittarius readings, but I'm feeling led to do it, all right, today. So, let's see what's going on for you. Um, don't forget, without something you didn't use the spirit of discernment, okay? <laughs> hit the like button, hit the thanks button, hit the subscribe button. Thank you so much for all the support. Thank you, my spirit team. What is Sagittarius energy? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Angelic Guides, for helping me with Sagittarius reading. Protect us as we go through these portals to come in with you. Close the gates to anything not in alignment. Thank you that my true guides are here with me, that there's no imposters around me. Protect my throat chakra and my energy. And so it is. All right, now. Here we go. This car is just tripping. They can't start with these because they are not shuffling. They're just getting stuck. Sagittarius, what is going on with you, bro? All right, so I'm seeing here that there could have been some drama. This could be past energy, okay? Um, I do see that drama is clearing out whatever it is that has been going on around you. I can tell because it's like I'm fighting to get this message out, okay? It's like <laughs> the cards are not doing anything right now. Yeah, attachments all tied up reverse. Attachments came out in the reverse position. So what I'm seeing here is that you had some type of unhealthy attachment to something or someone. Okay, look, yep, and the caring connection in the reverse. Okay, so some type of disconnect between you and someone. It could have been emotional disconnect. It could have been um, a separation that may have been happening between you and somebody. But whatever I'm seeing here is that it is some codependencies, some type of unhealthy attachment. That's all I keep seeing. It's like you have to, and I don't, you know, don't be offended, but you know, sometimes we wear a mask, right? And it's like a mask of pretense. Like you may have been trying to pretend like everything was good, but it really isn't, okay? And I feel like here, it's like somebody is taking the mask off. Somebody is actually starting to realize like, wait a minute. <laughs> I may have some unhealthy attachments, right? I may have some, I, it may be me who is codependent in this relationship. Okay, so let me see something real quick, y'all. I want to get some stuff here. Another set of cards. Let me see something. So when I look at this card for the attachment card in the reverse position, it says, whatever the old negative pattern or relationship or desperate attitude was, is being released, okay? So you may be trying to establish new ways of doing things and relating to others, all right? So if that's not the case, if that's not what you're doing, that's what's being suggested, all right? Because I do see here that whatever the drama is, is also internal as well as external. Tell me about the all tied up card reverse or what it was. I don't know where you fall at on the timeline in your story, Sage. Let's see. Tell me about the all type of card reverse. All right. So what I got here, I didn't even see three cards came out. So yeah, nine of swords comes out upright, the two of cups in the reverse, and the magician. So basically, again, it's like when it comes to this connection, because the two of cups reverse is the same thing as the caring connection. It's a lot of disharmony between you and whoever this person is. It could be a friend. It could be a lover. It could be a, a sibling. I don't know. But whatever I'm saying is like, it's a lot of anxiety here. You may have even hit a breaking point to some degree. Unhappiness. Whatever that feeling is with that nine of swords energy. That's like the wounded warrior. That's how I'm saying it. And when it comes to actually manifesting here something in this connection i do feel like at some point you could have been blocked in your creativity when it comes to this your willpower all of that look four swords i'm talking about massive fear here you know and anxiety stress 
why and all of it is due to a pattern is how i'm hearing it codependencies the unhealthy attachment that you may have had with this person uh, tell me about this attachment reverse these cards keep doing that y'all good thing i got like a whole bunch of other cards because that's just crazy <clears throat> tell me about this attachment about the other. Thank you. Tell me about this attachment reverse, please. Oh, yeah. Oh. So I got a higher font and a queen of wands reverse. And so what I'm saying here is whoever this person is in the connection, it could be fire sign energy. This could be you, you know, operating as a queen of wands reverse. The queen of wands reverse is like, ooh, that's all I'm going to say. If it's you, my bad, okay? The queen of wands reverse can be extremely demanding, very revengeful, very argumentative. Sometimes the queen of wands reverse can even be spell work, y'all. I mean, it's just what it is. And what I'm seeing with that higher font energy in the reverse position, it's like, I do see that it's like no alignment between y'all. It's like somebody may have wanted commitment. Somebody just ain't with it. Somebody rebelling completely against commitment here. But because it's an unhealthy attachment, a codependent attachment, what I'm saying here, and also could be a karmic attachment, okay, as well, where it's basically about the lessons, it's still something here that was keeping you connected with this person in some kind of way, right? Now, what I'm seeing is like, you could be choosing to just now, you know, to take a more healthy or positive path now is how I'm seeing it though. Tell me what I need to see. Yeah, five of pentacles comes out. So you could be worried about whatever the hardships may be, okay, around this situation, the loss, it's like this is somebody that's like really focused on um the spilled milk like it's like a and i don't want to i do want to say it like that it's like it's like a poverty mindset like it's coming to me like that this is how we're going to have to spit it out i do feel like there could be some abandonment issues too so tell me more about this queen of wands reverse you could have been isolating yourself about this queen of wands reverse the death card comes in reverse again whoever this person is is definitely very resistant to changing it's like they're not trying to go through their soul's evolution it, it could even be fear of change it could be just a repeat pattern whatever it is it's like i feel like says you could be going through a transformation right or flip the road y'all you could be going through a transformation and this person is still not changing queen of pentacles in the reverse they're still coming out reverse energy so whoever this feminine energy is again queen of pentacles in reverse is very insecure okay they're selfish they're self-absorbed it's like they're not a healthy balance this is not a balanced person okay so so what was the drama about Seven of Pentacles flies out and the Ten of Wands. All right, so Seven of Pentacles, Ten of Wands reverse. Somebody was doing too much by themselves. Basically, somebody was investing. You know how you just got like this equal, unequal power dynamics. And what I feel like is somebody could have been investing more into the connection and the other person wasn't really reciprocating, if that makes sense. Like, I ain't trying to be funny. You know, sometimes you just kind of laugh because it's just like, what the hell is happening here, okay? Somebody was not reciprocating and one person was doing or carrying the burdens or carrying the weight, okay? Whatever is going on, the connection, whatever is going on, right? And I do feel like somebody is waiting to see that. Look, they, they want to see the end of the hardship. It's like, all right, I've been doing all this stuff. I want I want to see my efforts pay off too. Like, I want to see something different happen from this. And it's becoming real tedious. So because of that, again, it's causing, that's what was causing the drama and heartbreak. Mm, three of swords and the knight of pentacles coming out. So whoever the masculine energy is in the connection may have been, kind of just like moving forward and this is breaking this queen of wands reverse it's hard it's breaking this feminine energy's heart you know and it's just like 
this masculine energy is taking a good old time too it's like they're not coming towards them it's like the more and more this feminine energy um investors into this masculine this masculine is is not even taking it the money it's like you see it's like wasted money it's like just dropping it they're just still moving it forward but they're just taking their time doing it and so now at this point i feel like this feminine energy is now turning into the queen of wands reverse okay getting upset or right? um, becoming explosive becoming very argumentative okay so yeah I'm gonna tell it as a story y'all because I don't know who plays what like I don't know who you are tuned in and basically what I see here with the six of pentacles next to the seven of cups and the eight of pentacles here again one person giving into the connection um, more than the other and I feel like here, this masculine energy could have been given into other connections, given into other things, right? Because we see with the Seven of Cups, it's options. And it's about making certain choices. And so instead of this masculine energy choosing to give to this one person's particular cup, they're given to, they like pulled in a whole bunch of different directions. And on top of that, I'm saying it's like they working on some other stuff. They working on building their own self up. You know, this person, this masculine energy looks like they're working towards a long-term goal for themselves. Tell me about this caring connection reverse. Yeah, temperance in the reverse. So, boom, we already see it. The disharmony, an imbalance, extreme. On top of that, it's like, you know how you got to know your extremes and shit? And then try to find a balance. Like, you got to know that extreme. And that's how I feel with it. Whoever the feminine energy is operating as that queen of wands reverse, like, yo, you got to know your extremes. <laughs> because, again, the queen of wands reverse can get quite explosive. And... The way I'm seeing it is like the divine is like, it got to be a balance. You got to be a healthy balance here. You got to know how to maintain your peace even when there's disharmony. It's about being able to adapt, right? When there's changes. And of course, someone isn't being too adaptable. Because as you can see the whole time, the masculine is still in the upright position. It's coming out again as a king of pentacles, knight of pentacles. They're still in their upright position. They're still operating from higher self. Okay. Um, their focus is is, is 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 elsewhere. And it doesn't look like they're looking backwards. But however, why is this Queen of Wands feeling this way? I'm hearing they feel betrayed. And they want them to make a choice. This feminine wants this masculine to make a choice. Yeah. Ace of Cups and the Eight of Wands in the reverse. And they're not making a choice. Okay. It's a lot of delays. Miscommunication. And what I see here is that they're not making any plans or anything. That Ace of Cups reverse. This is somebody here that will maybe even act a little cold or 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 unemotional right and it's a lot of negative changes and instead of this connection ending up being fruitful and and yeah some positive changes happening it seems like it's taking a turn for the worse so why is this masculine energy here responding this way the sun card comes out they want a new beginning at something they could be looking to take a more positive direction as well as what i'm seeing with that card Clarify the sign card, please. They could be looking to be successful at something here. They could be drawn to something else here that's more positive. It's like... Hold on. It's like they're... Yeah, like I said, it feels like this masculine energy is focused. It's elsewhere. Right. 
because here with the Ten of Pentacles coming out in the reverse, their focus isn't on um, the long term. It's like their focus isn't on building something and establishing something long term as a goal here within this situation here. The Nine of Swords also is beside it in the reverse. I still feel like it's anxiety, but it's almost like this masculine energy is healing. And what are they healing from? It's like they're trying to take a more positive approach to to life in this situation. It's just it's just not conducive to that. Yeah. Still, Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. They're trying to recover from this situation because there's a lot of unexpected changes for them too. Because at one time, they may have looked at this situation as being something that could be long-term, okay? Or abundant some kind of way. I feel like it was a lot to do with the financial stability for someone um, as well. But it's been a lot of changes. And they're looking at it too like it's a huge loss as well for them. Um, why is that? Six of Pentacles, they also gave into the connection as well. So, Queen of Pentacles in a reverse, right? They gave into the connection as well. And it feels like the more and more they gave to this Six of Pentacles, I mean, this Queen of Pentacles reverse, this feminine energy is like this feminine energy was never satisfied. And that's how I'm hearing it. Never satisfied. Remember that the Queen of Pentacles reverse is very self-absorbed. So it's selfish. It's like me, me, me. Like you're supposed to do this for me. Okay. So, so they, they're feeling like they lost out because they weren't expecting it to go in that way. They thought it would be a connection that was equal is what I just heard. But it ended up being not what they thought it was going to be. They end up connecting with a karmic. Somebody's connected with a karmic here. So however it goes, um, mm -hmm, four wands in a reverse position. Like I said, I feel like some type of foundation could have been set here or hopes of having some type of firm foundation within this connection. Hopes of having a prosperous, harmonious connection, but it ended up being something un unorthodox, something that was kind of like, ending up having a lot of restraints constraints or however right obstacles different things like that i feel like someone feels trapped within a situation on top of that okay um a lot of upheavals is what i'm hearing so why did it end up going this way though like besides this mask and not taking a different direction ace of cups in the reverse Wow, all because, again, somebody decided to take their hand back when it came to the love. And of course, the masculine energy decided to do it. Or stop giving it. Again, the negative changes. King of Wands reverse on top of that. Okay, so again, that's masculine energy coming through fire sign. Um, what I feel like here with that King of Wands, this is a person when they're in a the reverse, they're not ready to step into the room. Mm -mm. Yeah, when it comes to, you know, actually being in a relationship, it's like they care for you, but the King of Wands reverse is somebody that's kind of in and out. They don't commit. They're non-committal. Okay. Um, it almost like they have commitment phobia is how I'm hearing it. Usually if they see an opportunity being presented, they're going to go for it, but they're not going to commit. Okay. So, and it could be definitely a lot of uh, playboy energy, playgirl energy, but Yeah, they didn't want that particular role. Yeah, that Ten of Pentacles comes out in the Nine of Cups in the reverse. Okay, so when it came to having this long-term situation, whether it's y'all having kids together and bringing the family, you know, y'all being a family, like that traditional family when it comes to, say, like, y'all got your own separate kids and y'all bringing the families together, right? Um, mm -mm. They didn't want that long-term. I think they may have wanted that before, thinking that that's what they wanted, but something changed their mind, okay? What changed their mind? Ten of Swords comes out in the reverse. So something, some old pain, something they didn't, they didn't uh, heal from, 
okay with the everything fine card in the reverse something they didn't heal from let's see what that's about the death card in the reverse position next to the nine of wands upright so a lot of adversity i'm seeing here that this person had to face a lot of adversity here and it takes a lot of hard work and I feel like it's just too much hard work, a lot of sacrificing and all types of stuff like to keep this connection going. It it requires it to be a team. And of course, as you can see, it's not balanced. I also feel like this masculine energy could be quite stubborn, too. But what is it that they were holding on to? What kind of what were they holding on to? What in this? Queen of Swords, something was said. Queen of Swords reverse. Somebody said some shit. This feminine energy said something. It could be really overly emotional. I always seem to see the Queen of Swords um, in reverse, like re <laughs> reckless with their mouth, okay? Like, if you in an upright position, you assert yourself, you speak your truth, you know, in the reverse, you yelling and screaming, fuck you, you ain't shit. Like, I'm telling you, taking that sword and slicing and dicing a ninja for real, okay? don't really have good good healthy boundaries for themselves they just like go overboard tell me about the queen of swords reverse so something was said yeah and that's what brought this on the six of one four of wands reverse that's what brought this um yeah that's what brought this up people this is what shown them here that this wasn't real happiness for them Six, uh, six of Wands. Look, that's funny. It came out and I had said it and I didn't. That was the Four of Wands. Six of Wands reverse here. So they didn't feel supported. Or 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 it was like a lack of... Even they didn't feel supported in that situation. and lack of recognition or something here. They just didn't. They felt overlooked. It's like all of these feelings here. Because whatever was said. What was said? What did this Queen of Swords reverse? do or say this feminine energy uh look pulling out the sword i always say justice this part this feminine energy it looks like took justice into their own hands okay the feminine energy can be a man can be a woman but they took this into their own hands basically to get their justice on something they felt like this was going to be a this is what would balance the scales between this situation you know even if they didn't say something they did something they did something they took justice into their own hand and they were operating from their shadow self of course but in their mind they were seeing it as them coming from their intuition this is the best thing to do for me to get my justice Yep, King of Cups up right. Why? Because this masculine energy, again, didn't come to them. So, and how I see it, it's like the King of Cups is someone who follows their heart. But this King of Cups is looking in the cup at something else. And as you can see, it's like this King of Cups is, is vibrating off on something else here. What's in this cup for this King of Cups? What has this King of Cups heart open? I see they did something. It could have, it, whoever this masculine energy is could have did something um, in the past that caused some type of pain to someone, right? Ten of Swords reverse, and then here go the Eight of Wands up right beside it. And what I see here is, again, a lot of communication. So something could have been communicated here between this uh, masculine energy and someone else from that past situation. Something could have happened. This looks like also like some intervention coming from the heavens. To bring some type of progress or something here. Show me what I need to see. For this King of Cups. Mm-hmm. Yep. Page of Cups reverse. 
this king of cups this masculine energy yeah they keeping it they keeping it a secret they haven't been really saying anything about it they've been keeping it to themselves here go the strength card right beside it next to the six of wands okay so yeah exactly it's a secret i'll pull Tell me about this page of cups in the reverse. Something here that's like they're trying to find the confidence or courage. Look at that. Yup, they're keeping a secret. Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups. The secret is, is that this person is actually loving somebody else. Or loving something else. You know, if it's not a person, it could be a passion of theirs that they're following. But that's how I'm seeing it. It's like they want to, they're trying to get the carriage here to achieve something. Whether it's a relationship or whether it's being successful at um, something that they're working on. Where they could be like in the limelight is what I heard. Or like somebody who is um, publicly recognized or, you know, people may look up to this person on top of that, it's like this person, this masculine energy is going after what they love. And it's a few things that's coming out of this cup. You understand? It's, it's like a person. It's a, it's a thing. It could be a passion as far as something that they, they do creatively. Self-employment, life purpose, love. All of that is what I'm seeing. Yep. The world. Everything that they want to achieve reaching these major milestones that's what they're going after that's what they're focusing on in this cup and this other situation here with that um karmic feminine is they're walking and moving away from that but why are they moving so slow with doing it Nine of Swords comes out, but it's like sideways. So what I feel like is their healing one. Um, it is still some fear. I seen the. Uh, let me see if they come out again. So Knight of Cups. Again, that's someone following their heart. Mm -hmm. King of Wands upright. So what they're doing, like I said, again, it's like this, this person is clear on their vision. They ready to take charge on something else. They got a plan, like a grand plan, let me tell you. And it's about something that they're following with, when it, in regards to their heart. They're following their heart or their passion. And that's what they're doing. They're making all of their decisions based off of that. They're going off a of feeling with this, okay? And again, like with the wands energy too, they got, they got goals. They have a vision. And they're not really fully, they're not saying exactly what that vision is. And it's definitely making this feminine energy very unhappy. Nine of Cups comes out in the reverse. It's like the connection is superficial almost. It's like... I feel like this for somebody might not be for all of you. You may got family with this person, may got kids with this person or something like that. And it's like, that's not where this person like wants to be long term. But it's like, you know how you want to keep the, the peace to be able to work together on that dynamic. This person controls the hell out of their emotions. So you don't even know that, you know, you don't even know what this masculine is, is thinking or feeling. Let's just say feeling, even thinking. They keep a lot of stuff to themselves. And of course, like I said, my spirit team only going to tell us what we need to know. And they ain't going to tell us what the secret, secret is, but you can kind of hear and see where it's going at. The higher font in the reverse. This person is, this masculine energy is like, they following their own path. 
that's just what it is. They're following their own path right now. And that path is not a traditional one. But they're establishing some stuff here for themselves. They want to do it how they want to do it here um, is what I'm seeing. They're relying on... This is somebody here that's kind of like trying to stay in tune with their own inner wisdom is also what I'm hearing too. But of course, they're still battling. Like, I don't want to say battling. It's like they got to overcome, yeah, those uh, addictions. I feel like this is a person that's working on healing from their codependencies, the addictions. They're moving on. This masculine energy is moving on, y'all. Positive movement forward. They're taking a more positive route. That's why you see the drama all tied up in the reverse. That's why you see the drama, the emotional anxiety, whatever it is, starting to lighten up. So there is a difficult cycle coming to an end when it comes to this situation, okay? Because again, this masculine energy is now beginning to follow their heart. Yep. Come on. I keep seeing it. it four pentacles came out, but I kept seeing the... Um, what do you call that card? Ah. <laughs> I can't think of it. I don't know why. Oh, yeah. Thank you. It's sitting right in my face. The chariot. <laughs> keep seeing this. It's like they're overcoming these challenges. They got a lot of challenges, a lot of obstacles here. And I see somebody here. This masculine energy is now like, you know what? They determine. So it's at the point now here. What I see here with the Knight of Pentacles reverse. Remember, they was upright. They knight in the reverse. Where this person was just taking their time trying to ease out of the situation here with this um, other person. Now, nah, now it's like they're not doing anything. First, it's like they were trying to keep up a certain routine or for a, a certain persona. But now it's like they're not trying to keep up with, I guess, that. But you know how it's like it makes it seem like they're working towards a goal um, with you, right? They may have made it appear like with this feminine energy, like they were going to be working with them collaboratively, right? And they were going to actually get some type of results within the connection itself. But this masculine energy has another plan in mind. It's like now they have the plan. They didn't have the plan at first. At first, they were just kind of just like doing whatever they thought they needed to do to keep the balance in the connection. But the, the balance was never ever forming within the connection. It still was always upheaval. So it still was always, you know, them not feeling valued or um, not feeling like what they were given was enough. So now they, they were dreaming about it. Now this is a person that's actually like, look, four cups comes out, still holding on with the four pentacles energy, contemplating about it, not letting go of the situation. But now they have the carriage to move forward. Wow. <laughs> I love it. I don't even got to go no further, y'all. Look. I'm, I'm hearing. Let me pull something real quick before I let y'all go. So this is about your dreams. You've been getting some dreams. So thank you, my spirit team. Tell Sagittarius what you were trying to convey to them in their dreams spring and a passed over loved one so you got an ancestor or a passed over loved one that has been trying to comfort you and give you support okay in the dream they come to you in your dreams you may have them on your altar as well but they are like your guide is what i'm hearing okay um yeah they've been tell showing you or telling you that it's time for you to awaken with that spring energy. This is about your renewal. So yeah, like I said, this whoever's operating in that masculine energy moving forward, following their heart, going after what they're passionate about now, is like this is a time of renewal. Something could have started transpiring in spring for some. Okay, but yeah. 
this is somebody here who's going through an awakening and in, in their dreams it has been being shown to them by a passed over loved one let me look up spring Your physical, mental, and spiritual bodies are awakening, awakening, quickening, and opening to new vitality. So implement an exercise regimen and take simple steps to stretch and move every day. The spring card also indicates that all goals and new projects that you planted are taking root now. Continue to tend to these seedlings so that they may fully blossom. So, yeah, your dreams have been showing you that you are heading in a wholly new direction, which is going to usher in a rebirth or a fresh start in a relationship. I'm seeing here, um, as you can see, this masculine energy is going towards another new beginning when it comes to love. And it could be with somebody from the past as well. It could be a, a um, reconciliation within that relationship. But. <sighs> Yep, it's about your awakening. It says, awaken your maiden warrior aspect. Try responding to this situation with delight and grace. Cultivate these qualities within yourself so they may become fully realized. All right, so this is about a new direction. <laughs> so things are changing, but this person is rising up to a higher level of consciousness. So if you are coming in as the feminine energy of the collective, I do encourage you to... look. No, Practice some mindfulness first and foremost, but your self-care is most important. Your self-love is most important. And it's time for you to also go through this awakening and activations at hand is just what I just, I just heard that. Like you may be getting the call. You may be feeling the nudge and uh, spirit is trying to pull you closer and closer into your higher self. Um, So go within. OK, take some time to get still, to meditate, to go within, to really see what you truly want, because a lot of what you could be doing in this moment is based off of your uh, codependency is fear. OK, it's an unhealthy attachment um, and usually it stems from abandonment. OK, so this is a call, a major call for some life changing okay, choices to be made for you and this person. All right now, so thank you so much for tuning in. I definitely appreciate you. I know this may not have been a message you want to hear, but it had to come. All right, so I love you guys. Hit the like button. Peace.